Hello, dear viewers. Welcome to the new video from Bilal Consultancy Limited. In the last video, we discussed the benefits of Lean Six Sigma for chemical engineers. In this video, we will discuss three more case studies of Lean Six Sigma. Let's move on to a third case study. Streamlining multi-stage processes at a specialty chemicals manufacturer. Introduction. In the dynamic world of specialty chemicals, time and efficiency are of paramount importance. A leading manufacturer in this sector was facing considerable challenges in managing its multi-stage production process. Each stage was heavily dependent on its predecessor, resulting in cascading delays and compounding inefficiencies. The challenge. The company's production process was intricate. The output of one stage became the critical input for the next. Such a linear dependency meant that even minor hiccups in one phase could lead to significant waiting times in the subsequent stages. These delays were not only causing productivity losses but were also increasing the costs due to extended equipment runtime. Machinery had to be kept running, awaiting inputs from previous stages. Workforce inefficiencies. Workers were either waiting for materials or rushing to catch up, leading to overtime and potential quality compromises. Inventory gluts and shortages. With an unpredictable flow, the company often found itself grappling with excess material at some stages and shortages at others. The Lean Solution. Realizing the need for an overhaul, the company sought the aid of lean methodologies to streamline its operations and reduce endemic delays. The intervention focused on process mapping. A comprehensive visual representation of the entire production flow was developed. This illuminated bottlenecks, redundant steps, and potential areas of optimization. Implementing Kanban. A Kanban system was introduced to regulate the production flow better. Visual cues, such as cards and boards, were employed to signal when a particular phase should start or stop production, ensuring a smoother flow of materials through stages. Creating buffer stocks. To reduce the impact of delays, strategic buffer stocks were established at critical points. This ensured that subsequent stages could continue operations even if there were minor holdups in the preceding steps. Optimizing workforce deployment. Workforce schedules and roles were re-evaluated. Teams were restructured to align better with the new streamlined process. Training sessions were held to ensure everyone understood their roles in this optimized flow. Regular reviews, feedback loops were established. Periodic reviews were held to analyze the process's efficiency ensuring that any emerging bottlenecks were promptly addressed. Outcomes Post the lean overhaul, the company observed transformative changes. Reduced process time The overall time taken from the start of the production chain to the end was reduced by a whopping 40%. Consistent quality With reduced rush and waiting periods, workers could focus better on ensuring consistent output quality. Cost savings the company saw significant cost reductions, thanks to optimized machinery runtimes and better workforce efficiency. Improved employee morale. With clearer roles, reduced idle times, and a smoother workflow, employee satisfaction levels saw a notable boost. Enhanced inventory management. The strategic buffer stocks, combined with the Kanban system, led to more predictable and manageable inventory levels. Conclusion. This case underscores the transformative potential of lean methodologies in the chemical manufacturing sector. By addressing the root causes of delays and optimizing the flow, the specialty chemicals manufacturer not only improved its productivity but also paved the way for enhanced profitability and market competitiveness. Now let's talk about the fourth case study which is Optimizing operations at a petrochemical plant with Six Sigma Background Petrochemicals form the backbone of numerous modern industries, from plastics and resins to solvents and detergents. However, the production process in petrochemical plants can be intricate and energy-intensive. Given the scale of operations, even slight inefficiencies can lead to significant operational costs and suboptimal outputs. The Challenge A prominent petrochemical plant was grappling with these challenges. While the plant was profitable, the management was always on the lookout for ways to optimize production and reduce costs. Specifically, production efficiency. The yield from the raw materials was not at the desired level. 
This meant that the company was not obtaining as much product as theoretically possible from the resources they were using. Energy consumption. Petrochemical processes are notoriously energy intensive. The plant was using a significant amount of energy, a major cost factor, leading to reduced profit margins. Six Sigma Intervention. The management decided to employ the Six Sigma methodology, known for its data-driven approach to problem solving and optimization. Their intervention included defining the problem. The team began by outlining their key concerns, namely, the efficiency of production and the high energy usage. Measurement and data collection. Before making any changes, it was crucial to understand the current state. Data was meticulously collected on various production parameters and energy consumption metrics. Utilizing design of experiments, DOE, recognizing that multiple variables could impact production efficiency and energy use, the team employed the design of experiments method. This allowed them to systematically vary input parameters and observe the effect on the output. By doing so, they could understand interactions between variables and identify the combination that produced the best results. Analysis and implementation. Post the experiments, the data was rigorously analyzed. The team pinpointed the optimal settings that yielded the highest production efficiency while minimizing energy consumption. Monitoring and control. After implementing the changes, the team set up monitoring mechanisms to ensure that the new parameters were consistently adhered to and to catch any deviations early. Results. The Six Sigma intervention led to tangible and impactful results. Enhanced production efficiency. By pinpointing the ideal input parameters, the plant increased its production efficiency by an impressive 15%. This meant higher yields from the same amount of raw material. Reduced energy consumption. By optimizing the process, the plant reduced its energy consumption by 10%, leading to significant cost savings and a reduced environmental footprint. Return on investment. The initial investment in the Six Sigma intervention was quickly offset by substantial savings and increased production, leading to a positive ROI in a short time. Conclusion. This case study highlights the power of Six Sigma in a real-world industrial context. The petrochemical plant, by systematically analyzing its processes and making data-driven adjustments, reaped significant benefits in efficiency and cost savings. This underlines the fact that even established and profitable operations can benefit immensely from a structured, analytical approach to optimization. Now, let's discuss the fifth and last case study for today. Sustainable Operations Transformation in an Agrochemical Firm. Introduction. Agrochemicals play a pivotal role in ensuring global food security by protecting crops from pests, diseases, and unfavorable conditions. However, the production of these chemicals is often riddled with environmental concerns, especially pertaining to chemical waste. This case study delves into how an agrochemical producer harnessed the power of lean methodologies to address these concerns, driving both ecological and economic gains. The background. The firm in focus, a key player in the global agrochemical market, had been under the scanner due to the substantial amount of chemical waste generated in its production processes. This waste not only raised environmental concerns but also presented a considerable financial burden due to associated disposal costs. The Challenge Two core challenges faced the company. Environmental Responsibility The company was keen to reduce its environmental footprint, driven by both regulatory pressures and its own commitment to sustainability. Economic impacts. The cost of managing and disposing of chemical waste was escalating, directly impacting the bottom line. Lean intervention. Recognizing the urgency and scale of the challenge, the company decided to employ lean practices. Their approach consisted of waste assessment. A dedicated team undertook a comprehensive audit of the entire production process. They quantified the waste at every stage and identified areas of maximum inefficiency. Value Stream Mapping The team mapped the entire production cycle, visualizing the flow from raw material intake to finished product dispatch. This illuminated non-value-added steps and processes causing excessive waste. Kaizen Workshops Cross-functional teams participated in Kaizen Workshops, brainstorming on potential solutions to minimize waste and streamline operations. Poka Yoke, Error Proofing. 
The firm introduced error-proofing techniques in the production line, ensuring that mistakes that lead to waste were minimized. Continuous monitoring. Post-implementation of changes, continuous monitoring mechanisms were established. This helped in ensuring adherence to new standards and identifying areas for further improvement. Results. Post-lean intervention, the company reaped multiple benefits. Significant waste reduction, a remarkable 25% reduction in chemical waste was achieved. This was a direct result of eliminating non-value adding steps and optimizing processes. Cost savings, with reduced waste, the costs associated with waste disposal plummeted. This had a direct, positive impact on the company's profit margins. Environmental impact. The reduced waste meant a smaller environmental footprint, aligning the company with global sustainability goals and improving its reputation in the market. Regulatory compliance. The firm also found itself better positioned to meet increasingly strict environmental regulations, mitigating potential legal and financial risks. Conclusion. This transformation story underscores the multifaceted benefits of lean practices. By focusing on waste reduction and process optimization, the agrochemical firm not only realized significant economic benefits but also bolstered its position as a responsible and sustainable industry player. Thank you for joining us on this journey into Lean Six Sigma for chemical engineers. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with more insightful content from Bilal Consultancy Limited.